Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. In today's video, we're going to cover browser use web UI. Latest release, which is the deep research feature. And this is very similar to OpenAI deep research. So if you click the deep research release, you can see the announcement, uh, a lot of details about it. So if you do not know how to set up the browser use web UI, feel free to check out my previous video. You can search for browser use and you can see the first one is browser use web UI and Olama. So this should help you set up the browser use for free on Kaggle and with GPU. So that being said, let's continue. We have already set up the browser use web UI and it is running right now. And you can see here, this is the one we set up and we're gonna uh, use VLM and Grog for the deep research testing. The reason is, so if you go to the latest models for Grok. They just released the preview models for Q1 2.5 32B, DeepSeq R1 Distill Q1 32B, and DeepSeq R1 Distill Lava 7B, which is awesome. So this is very good for people who want to try out DeepSeq R1 for free. And that being said, let's move to the next section. Uh, if you do not know how to install VLM, I also have videos for that. Feel free to search the VLM in this channel. You should be able to uh, get the tutorials to help you set up. We're going to use the uh, Qlint 2.5 14b for this demo. Um, so as you can see here, this is actually running also. So uh, let's continue with the uh, browser use interface. So you can see here, this is the uh, 71E0. So that's the interface we set up. Um, if you go to this uh, browser use web UI, you can see that this is the 71E0, which we set up. So uh, if you uh, want to test the deep research feature, make sure you actually set up everything else correctly. Um, if you do not set up everything else correctly, it might not work. I will show you the reason why. So um, first, you have to uncheck the use vision because we don't use the vision in this demo. If you use the Q1 2.5 VL in my other video, you probably can uncheck the use vision, but we do not use it for this demo. Then for LLM configuration, you can also um, select different uh, different providers, but we're going to use OpenAI because this is going to work with both Grok and the VLM. So you can see here, we're going to use the uh, Q1 2.5 32B. The base URL is api.grok.com openai slash v1. You can get the API key from Grok console. And in the browser settings, this is very, very important. So I'm going to uh, talk about why this is important. So because we're actually running this on Kego and it's actually running in the backend, instead of a desktop version, you have a browser pop-up. So we're going to choose the headless mode. So make sure you choose headless mode. But that's the only option. That's not the only option you should choose because there's an issue with the deep research in the code. You also have to choose use own browser. So let's go to the source code. You can see from this deep research class and there is a check for use browser, right? Use own browser. And if you do not use own browser, there's uh, options that's not going to pass in like headless mode. So if you do not choose this option, it could work on desktop version. But if you want to use this automation method, then you have to choose use own browser. So then we'll run in headless mode. So that being said, let's continue. So make sure all these options are checked. Then you go to deep research and then we're going to use the default uh, prompt for this demo and make sure you max search iterations set to one. This is easy for you to try it out. You can set to any number. Uh, it's going to go through iterations, but you can see here if you choose one and click run deep research, it's going to generate this article with these odd uh, conclusions and the references, which is great. After it's done, it's also generating this markdown file, which you can download. So this is a great way to try out the deep research. Uh, if you want to use the VLM, you can also set up the VLM as I also set up in here. So all you have to do is get the VLM URL. Let's just try it here. 
uh, and also you just need to go to this um, RM configuration and paste it in in here and slash v1 and paste in the model which is the Q114B and instruct Q40. So you just paste it in here and paste the API key, which is the one that's in here token, ABC103. That's it. So this will give you setup, right? But before we do that, I also want to mention something with the uh, reasoning model. So for example, Deep seek R1 distill Qwin 32B provided by Grog. This might not work for some reason. So the non-reasoning model works, but the reasoning model somehow does not work. This is not the same as they describe in the release. So if you go to the releases, they're saying that this um, reasoning model, like Gemini 2.0 Flash, Deep seek R1, it should work. But for some reason, when you use the Grog Deepseek R1, which is also a recent model, this might not work. Just a note. So let's try it out so you can see. So if you go to the um, Deepseek R1 Distill Q132B and also paste in the base URL, paste the API key from Grog and go to the Deep Research, keep everything else the same and set the max research equals to 1. You can click the run deep research. Let's click it and see how it works. And go to the uh, browser use logs. So you can see, as you can see also, this is a previous generated logs, which is very nice. But for the reason model, okay, so this is the reason that you actually also have to check the um, use own browser. We might not have checked this one. You can see, there's an issue here. So let's go to um, browser settings, choose your zoom browser, headless mode, right? And then click deep research. Try again. So you can see this is the reason why the reasoning model doesn't work, right? You can see that there's a issue here. So, but non reasoning model should work. So that's what I want to note in here. So make sure when you want to try the Grog and just use the regular non-reasoning model as we uh, specified here, Q12530B, that should work. Um, that should be the Grog usage case. So if you want to try out the VLM, as I mentioned earlier in the video, just use the URL that's already been spin up, paste it in here, slash v1 also get the api key which is token abc103 paste it here and use the model as q12514b you can also use the 30b as well this is actually quicker if you use the 14b so you can see the speed gpu is 13 gigs for each right so it should be quicker and also you can try that out um no issues so q12514b you paste the model name here and go to the browser settings. Make sure you choose use own browser, highlight mode, they're all checked. Then make sure you go to the deep research and then you can click run deep research. You can also reduce the max research iterations to one. Let's click again. Let's go to the browser use. You can see it started first search, right? And if you check out the VLM logs. You can see that this is actually popped out. But there's an issue here, it seems. Let's see what the issue was. Let's see. Okay. Start working, seems.
Okay, it is working. So since this is working, you can see the report is generated. Right, generated a little bit different than the Quark version, but it also very nice. And and also you can also download from here as well. So that should cover the this video. So we demoed how to use the latest browser use Bob UI with VLM QN 2.5 14B and the Grok version of the QN 2.5 32B. So that should be it. Hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.